Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Tom. And we are here with the second Comstar box, the Comstar. Battle Level 2. Battle Level 2. I think someone told me the Level 1 is a single mech. In the last, because we were asking this in the last review. I was like, what's a Level 1? And they said it's a single mech. So it goes from 1 mech to 6 mechs. And then to like 36, I think. Oh, then that makes total sense. A level sense, three, actually. I think, goes to thirty six. Yeah. Do something. they sell a, a level three box? <laughs> a level three? It's just a giant. It's like a suitcase. Yeah, yeah. It's like one of those Felder cases. It's Ooh. Like full of mechs. Well, speaking of that, opportunity. Opportunity. Uh, I'm gonna say at the beginning again, Tom. Guys, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, give us a give us some love. Yeah. Uh, we'd appreciate or that. Or some hate. Or some hate. Just some I mean, way. I mean, let we'll us get, know we, we exist. Let us know we need to zoom in more. I yeah. mean, I feel like I feel that like joke's never going to die. I've never, I've never heard it enough. Uh, so definitely not multiple times per video. <laughs> so you good. know who you are, yeah, whoever you are, <laughs> whoever <there>. you are. <laughs> uh, all right. So anyway, I'm excited to dive into this one. This one, one of the last, really last two. We yeah. have one more after this, but this is. Uh, this is the battle level too. Very excited to dive into this one. And so, little known fact, it's the largest box from the collection. It is. It's even larger than the command level two by 0 0.01. Yeah, it's centimeters. slightly Just larger. slightly bigger. But not by density. Okay. <laughs> the high density minefield. All uh, right, so guys, stick around. We're going to crack this thing open, get the mechs on the turntable, do all sorts of close ups. So, stay tuned. It's coming right up. All right, and we are back. Uh, this is great. Crab, Flashman. That's 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 a Tom Ooh, favorite. The Crab and the Flashman are both favorites. The I'm Guillotine, the Lancelot, the Mongoose, and the Crockett. Did, you used to have a Lancelot you played a lot, didn't you? I got it. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it's I over remember. There. That was like one of your core mechs when we were it's playing great Classic. Mech. Yeah. Great mech. Crab is always mine. That was I the mean, first mech I ever yeah. played. It's Crab. It's Crab. No, it's Hook. Hope Even though it's like not the best mech, but it's pretty good. I mean, you know what? I think Solid. I like it in Destiny more than I like it in Classic. Large yeah. lasers in, in Classic sort of suck in my opinion. It's a conversation. It, it didn't that, have, but... yeah, it didn't have the punch it needed. But it yeah. was a medium. It's a medium. And large okay. lasers and Alpha Strike suck too because they cut off at the medium range bracket. I don't know. Yeah, it's large, the, large, it's large lasers are, where, yeah. are weird, are weird. So you were talking about box art. Great box art. Tom loves the inside. Uh, I do too. Very cool stuff here. Um, and again, the box art is different for... What's that? Check that box. I have a look at the box art. Oh, I'm sorry. Man. Wow. What's... That's a thug. Yeah, the purple, but what... He's mugging the Highlander. <laughs> this picture. I mean, what's, what's the, um, the insignia? Do you know what, um, force that's from? Purple? Don't know. Oh, it looks like a purple X. Hard to tell. And I'm sure it's... Yeah, I don't know what that is, to be quite honest. Yeah. But it's awesome, whatever yeah. it is. Get it out of there. Get it. Okay. All right, let's lay, let's lay these out right in front of You're us. Right. Mongoose. The Crab. The Lancelot. The Guillotine. The Flashman and the Crockett. Now, the fun fact I, I mentioned this about the Crockett is that it's also known as the Katana. Also, the I do widest know some, I do know some more. Uh, what's that? The widest hips of birthing mech, Tom. Yeah, it's a birthing mech. Uh, the Crockett also is kind of was given to the Draconis Combine by Comstar on the sly, like right as the, the clan invasion was happening. So they renamed it the Katana. They're like, Davy Crockett, why? What is this? Who's this dude? That sounds like a Federated Sons mech. We're gonna call, we're gonna call it a Katana. Yeah. So this is a pretty good mix of uh, sizes. Um, not a ton of range. 20, I think There's actually five tons. <clears throat> this is yeah. not a mech. This is not a, a box I would play out of the, the box. Nothing as long range in Alpha Strike. Well, let's check. Some well, other oh, range. that's that is fair. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's make sure I'm not just making this up. Okay, there we go. This Crockett's a killer. Let's flip all these cards. No. Yeah. The flat. I mean, this because they're all like large laser based. Yeah. There's just so many large lasers. And that's what kills the crab in Alpha. <clears throat> in Alpha Strike, yeah. 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 And the Flashman. The, the Crockett's too. pretty good, though. 
I thought the Flashman had PPCs, but maybe I'm wrong. But then again, there's like both sides. Yeah. Right. Great mech, though. Okay, well let's let's take a look at the mechs. I, I want to start with the mongoose. Let's do it. All okay. right. So we're gonna start with the mongoose. This is, I believe, 25 tons, if I'm not mistaken. Oh wow, this one's this one's really in there. I'm gonna pop it out from the bottom here. Pew! Check that out. Looks like a little gremlin. It's awesome. Pretty cool. Um, so we talked about this before. Uh, you you love the goofy legs, right? And when we say goofy legs, we mean the non non like Pretty standard goofy. human yeah. legs, right? It's got Multi one, two, yeah, multiple <laughs> joints, right? Like if one knee <laughs> is it. is good, why not have two? <laughs> yeah, more places to put guns. <laughs> yeah, there's so many so much engagement in the comment section about that. It's a fascinating <clears throat> question. Yeah, I was really excited to see people. Uh, so the gun housings yeah. are great on this Mac. Super deep. Uh, the fingers. Yeah, the, really the well like done. Lobster claw gloves. Yeah. Makes me think about skiing. Uh, <laughs> so excited. You know, the torso mounted laser are very good. The, you've mentioned this in the last video, the, the recess on the cockpit, right? Oh yeah, this is a great one. Yeah, it's a little Metroid head. Mm -hmm. It's great. Great antenna. Yeah, it looks like a fast Mac. Like how it is very fast. Mm -hmm. Uh, so... It, it's like a, it's like locust speed, like eight twelve. Sixteen. Yeah. 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 Right. We have to have it, but. Um, yeah. Fantastic. So really good. I'll put this one here. You know, uh, for a little close Great up design. action. Great sign overall. Really happy with yeah, that. Yeah. And you never had a mongoose before, right? I don't think we've ever. Don't have a mongoose. One. Okay. I'm curious what the old scope yeah. looked like if they had one. Do you want to save the crab? No. Let's get right in there, right, man. Right, right in. In. Fifty tons. Right Fifty out. tons of love. Yeah. I love the design. I mean, I love the original, and it's basically the same. Um, it's basically the same. The claws but are better. not quite as good as the old one. But the old one, they looked like radar dishes yeah, or they something. They did not even so look like goofy. articulating claws. These are yeah. awesome. This, yeah, it's great. I love um, the armor segmentation. Like the old one was like really like, you know, had that weird. Right, we'll show in a second. Yeah, but it's, it was it was all the same. It almost yeah. looked like yeah. Like yeah. a grid. Right, a grid. Didn't that, make sense. Didn't make sense. The, um, the, the freaking array on the top is so good. It's so quintessential uh, of the crab, you know? Super spiky legs. Like, so much depth and detail. Like, look at the toes. Oh, yeah. But these are the details I think really set the crab apart. But the things that they changed, they changed really well. So here's the old one, right? Yeah. Um... And you know it, it again has the has the radar array on it and like you know yep. uh, it's got the little small laser on the head. Uh, it's got again I do prefer the claws. The old claws? I do. I do. They don't even look like they close. I know but they're cool. But you know all the spikes you mentioned on the legs, right? Yeah. And then the goofy similar. the goofy weird feet. But look at the back, like. Yeah, I do prefer those feet more than these. Really? Oh, I like the I, I like the these are these are no. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're really cool too. I. Love that design. You do. I, I mean, do. it's it's well, it's 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 your heartstrings. You yeah, know? And I like the MWO crab model as well, but this is really good. Yeah, and I appreciate that they sort of did their own spin on it. It's really good, and yeah. again, super well proportioned. Everything's really nicely balanced. Um, I give that an A plus. Very big fan. Yeah, and you know, I mean, the casting is sturdy and strong, and it looks like you know I could if I really wanted yeah. to you know, do some torso twisting action. Where is the cockpit on this guy? Just, like, right in there? You know, Tom, that is the eternal question. Um, yeah, I think in this one you can see it. It's actually really well done. It's just that little tiny... Oh, yeah, yeah. there it is. Because the old one didn't, didn't have one, right? Didn't, I mean, yeah. not that I can see. No. Not that I can see. But here they are, side by side. If it's... Is it painted? You're always, you always remember to do that. It's smart. It's it's all super shady. You can't yeah. see it, but it does have look at look on the top there. I don't know. Nah, I don't know. I th I think you're right. I mean, I think it has to be. I don't know, dude. Look look up here. It could it could also be up there, but I think it's, it's like there. the assassin. You really don't know where the cockpit is. It's uh, up to your interpretation. Open to your artistic. If anybody actually knows where it is, maybe it's actually in like a Sarna article or something like. The cockpit is located. <laughs> Somebody. And then knows. it just and then it's like jumbled letters. It's just like, redacted. Yeah, redacted. That's good. Um. All right, Lancelot. Your favorite. Pull him up. I mean, Classic. you know what, dude? The, you still love this mech. Don't even try to backpedal. I'm not. You I'm love not the Lancelot. I do. I do love the Lancelot. It's a staple mech. Yeah. Uh, it's a great 
And, I think and the old one had gun arms too, right? Yeah. Old one had the gun arms too. Um, Not quite as like rifle mini as this one. Yeah. Um, I like it. I'm not in love with it. I like it. Where's the old one? Because I, I did like the old one. All right. Well, here's the Let's old just one. Pull it out. I, I, can't, I can't help but look. I mean, so the old, so the old one. I love heads like that. I love it's, it. You, you don't like them, right? But I like them. I know. I do like. Do that you like head. it? Yeah, okay. I do like that head. I like how the sort of the torso slope it was brought up in the new one to give yeah. it more depth, and I liked how you know, like you've got a large laser in your chest, like it's not this long. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's that's pretty cool. Um, beefy or legs. Actually, it might even be a PPC. He might just I'm not even sure. He did leg day. There it is again. Yeah. Uh, right. This guy definitely has... He's and, got and, some hams now, buddy. And it's proportioned to look like a 60-ton heavy mech. This That's does right. not look like... I mean, this looks like a 40-ton, 45-ton. Yeah, ton. they're the same height, right? Mm -hmm. But I, I do prefer that head to that head. That's the only thing I would really change. I, yeah, I'm not I mean, a this, huge fan this of sort these, of like, is like wolfhoundish. Yeah. You know? I, I do that. agree with that. I, I think the head leaves just a little bit... To be desired. I'm would not, you I'm be my... willing to cut the head off and replace it with that one? I would not. Can would I not, do it? I would not. You can do it on yours. No, I meant on your model. Yeah, you can take this one. <laughs> Just cut that off. Sorry, but <laughs> bye, bud. Bye, buddy. That's yeah. happening. He's going to have this like, big, goofy head, like yeah. jack-o'-lantern head. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was going to say, I'll put it on like a spring. Just like bobbles. Oh, I'll put a bobble head <laughs> on Oh, my God. Okay. All right, so here's here's the two Lancelots side by side. I will and say... that's a great mech. I do love the definition on the guns, the gun barrels, right? Um, all of that stuff, I think, is really well done. And just, again, we're talking about scale here. I've talked about it a million times, how important having appropriate scale is when you're playing these games. There's yeah. nothing worse than, like, you know, your 30-ton mech being bigger than your, you know, your 100-ton mech or whatever. <laughs> right, which has happened. It sure has. Um, what are you, you, you going to pull out? Uh, guillotine? Let's yeah. just keep going guillotine. down. Going up in size here. The guillotine. The guillotine. The gilly. The gil. The gil. Give gil me that gil guillotine. Guillotine. Um, it's guillotine. <laughs> I absolutely. I'm, I dig it. You dig it. I dig okay. it. So, here's what I dig about it. The little TV. It's like yeah. a. It's like a spotlight. Uh, the I, segmentation I like the, on the on the Charlotte shoulder armor panels. Very really good. Cool. The very clean line. You can tell the arms are a separate piece, but that clean it helps it deep line really makes it look. You know realistic you know pulls it together yeah i like how the arm laser here is not um these so are the old offset one was just like yeah, yeah. A, you know this mm -hmm. one has right it has a little bit more definition to it the double laser here yeah, yeah really you good. like when the, they're not the same very cool srm6 in the torso really well done that's really well done yeah um uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking for a definition around the cockpit. The cockpit's a mess. I don't no see offense. it as well. Then I'll, I'll maybe a bad casting. It's a, it's a little bit melted. It, it does not, right. I don't see the definition as much, and I'm looking... But, I, mean, I, but I am a fan, again... So look, the windows are very tiny. Yeah. Very tiny on this. Which, you know, again, makes it harder to paint. Um, yeah, I, I do like the face in the torso. That's... Yeah. I, I, I hate to tell you, but... That's like one of my favorite classic designs. This. This is great. I love it. Uh, I did do a little I, bit I of reposing. The, yeah, the, the flare, the flare, yeah. the, the wing shoulders. Yeah, if they had better gun. Yeah, check this out, bro. It's magnetized. I know. I, it's yeah. so cool. I just mean like if that gun design was better, yeah. that, would, that would be the superior mech. Right. The feet too. I like that they segmented the toes out. Yeah, it helps a lot. Well, I think they were supposed to be segmented here. I cut it off its old Alpha Strike base. Oh, okay, okay. Because uh, it had one of the little mini, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, this I is do. the plastic Alpha Strike one. Um, yeah. I like that it has the skirt. This one kind of has the skirt. I hate the skirts. skirts. I know, I love the skirts. The skirts know. remind me of Transformers. They're so dumb. No, I mean, like, the Zaku, like, all, all the Gundam stuff has <sighs> skirts. They're I do not. so good. I don't like them. I love like, the fact. That, 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 like, if you think about it logically... Like, the hip joints and all, they have to be exposed to be able to move, and you have to protect that. You want to, you want to be able to breathe down there. It's basically like, you know, it's like the equivalent of the support, the inner sphere support lens, the drop strap of the inner sphere. Yeah. No, it's like, yeah, you know. Yeah. I don't know. All I can tell you is this could be a ball and socket with mimer bundles, you know, pulling and, and right. adjusting. Right, you've got to cover fine. it up. But it's covered up. It's not covered up. That is the most vulnerable butt cheek of a mech I've ever seen. Those hams, they're gonna get boiled. So this has Can't jump jets on the back. Yeah. 
Uh, let's check the jump jets on this guy. Ah, eh, not as cool. I like that they were the round kind. I do like the round kind, <laughs> but those are very well defined. Uh, okay, that's fair. I mean, really I, well I disagree, defined. but okay. I think well. they're. I think they're a little. Again, there's a couple places like where that's cool. Yeah, these these are really good. Like, um, look, and they kept that from this original. But again, design. there's also still some kind of melty. So this might just be a slightly not great casting. Yeah, that or, that particular one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll reserve. I think I have one of these as well. We'll right? have, to, have to look. Yeah, I'll look. We'll have I'll to look. look. I don't, we don't have it here. Not at the studio. Um, yeah, because even the gun barrel is slightly... A little... Yeah, maybe, maybe it just I'm just thinking about like, well. when, when you paint them. Like sometimes like that. that's going to be... That's going to be tough to do. Yeah. It's going to be hard to get the dry brush on that. Yeah. Um, but So here it is with the next to the, the original one, right? A um, little bit beefier. I mean, this is 70-ton Mac. Yeah. You know, yeah. this does not look like... Yeah, 70-ton Mac. You know, and the pose is much better right out of the box. So much like better. I had to cut this leg, and and again, the the arm is magnetized on this guy. Because right? the knees like in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, right. The so. knee, yeah, and I mean this. You know, again, there are some details of this that are great, and there are some great Iron One designs. I still would take this one. I mean, I if mean, you look there? at the front of this thing versus the front of this thing, the only thing I like more in the old guillotine is the head. I like the shoulders too, but yeah. um, they're a little too gun to me for me. But I know you like that sort of thing. Yeah, in in, in certain tastes. Yeah. All right. Great All design right. though. Love it. So, uh, Flashman next. Flasherman. I don't have a the, Flashman. The only one with a restraining order against him in the entire universe. You're not allowed to bus stops anymore, buddy. Stay out. Amazing design. Yeah. It's but the great. the details there. I mean, every square inch of this thing. I well, mean, it's look, just really the, unique looking too. The, you know, the, so the legs have that, right? You know, you can see like the little the little drilled dots and on the back side, right? All the heat sinks and whatnot. And then to your point, like this thing on the shoulder, which I assume is the AMS. Um, you know, all the laser barrels uh, built in, large, small, right? Everything, everything's yeah. there. It's a really good thing. The head is pretty well defined, and you're right, it's goofy looking, but it's. It's also somewhat sinister looking, uh, and, and it's sort of the, the stance. It looks like a killer. Again, I like anything that has like the shoulder mounted whatever they are. Yeah. It's probably, I, I always nice. imagine them as like, yeah, I was going to say, I imagine as some kind of sensor array, and it makes me think of the Predator with his little like tri-red dot thing, you know, and he shoots a weird so good. disc thing at people. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so good. That's I totally nice forgot movie. about that. It's great. Dude, it's been, it's been a long time. I'm a pop culture machine. Mike. Dude, I have not watched that in so long. Yeah. Um, I like the second one the best. With yeah, the this is Busey. this is really good though. This yeah. is a really really. I mean, when you, I think painted that thing's gonna be killed. like I was gonna say if you did this in your Comstar colors, white, you know, with the green cockpits and the black wash. I mean, it's gonna I put look. an Irby next to them too because they're kind of both like a, a mailbox. Yeah, so good. He's big too. He looks really good in scale with the other. With right, the other like you know, if you look at the mongoose, twenty-five tons, seventy-five tons. I mean, that's that's legit. Yeah, you could fit three mongoose inside a Flashman. <laughs> he opens his trench coat. Yeah. All the mongooses. <laughs> uh, it's a mongoose or mongoose? Mongoose. Ma. Nobody mongoose. knows. Uh, mongoose. They're called mongoose, I think. <laughs> so this one, I'm actually really the excited crocket? about. Yeah. Uh, I am I am really excited about this one. Uh, it's a it's one of those designs where like I would never buy the Iron Man one, and not because it's like like particularly bad or anything, but just like when they get heavy, they're like I find them like to be a giant pain in the butt they to glue. Fall over, they fall like, over yeah. and then they fall apart. They fall right if you're going uphill. To... So I'm very excited because I, I from like a just a lore perspective and a weaponry perspective, it's very cool. Uh, and I think they did a really nice job on this redesign. Yeah. So, I mean, these, yeah, the, the missile pods, awesome. Um, the jump jets, again, has a circular kind. Friggin' love that. I do awesome. like the, yeah, I love the circular jump jets. Super beefy torso weapon. Love it. A++. plus plus. A++ plus plus there. Super beef. Yeah, so this is the beefiest of the, of the Arby's. Match. I think this is a 85 toner. Yeah. Jump and in. again, and look how much definition and depth is in the cockpit yeah. that's going to be a joy to paint um, right it's really, it has a really crisp. cool cockpit too yeah just like i mean like right like yeah i, I always love the ones that have like the the moonroof you know 
Oh, yeah, you know, I didn't think about that. I was thinking that it was just these, the sides. I think it's... But you're right, because you can see it. Yeah. It's, it's the whole sort of centerpiece yeah. there, too. Yeah. Okay. Still cool. I might not actually paint that, to be honest. Really? Oh, dude, I'm definitely painting it. I, I kind of like... I love the I fact, like it like, when it's just eyes. And oh, nose. like on the like, side. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you don't have to. You could paint them as, like, panels. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know? It could be an armor. Like the, or, like, the hatch. And even. I do love... I didn't even notice, too. It has two little wings. Two little fins. Oh, so The cool, fins right? are great. It's the, um... It's like the, you know, the new shark fin thing on cars. Baby shark. Don't you dare. Vortex generator. Oh, and, you know, I didn't even notice it too, but it has, like, covers on the front here. Is this, is there weapons in there? Let me see. It looks like they would fold down. Maybe they're just axis panels. Maybe. Hard to say. Great mech. Uh, what about the legs? I didn't really look at the legs too much. Um, ah, they're okay. They're, they're, they're you know, they're, they're, I see design cues that are similar to yeah. the Flashman, Flash yeah. um, and I wonder if, I mean, pr presumably the same designer built both of these, um, both really, really well done. You know, the thing I like about um, the legs in this one, it's got the widest hips in the universe. It's good, it's birthing Mac, yeah, I mean, it's got wide hips, but again, you mentioned the jump jets, so good. I really love those, and then, you know... I, I, it's kind of cool how the, the weapons are like stubby. Like it has, it a, is kind of cool, offset, right? but they're not real long. Like uh, yeah. Guys. I mean, it, right. It's not, it doesn't look like a Warhammer, you know, or it looks like a like, Warhammer with sawed off shotguns. Kind yeah. Of. You know, it, it, and it's got the it twin SRMs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is very cool in that regard. <clears throat> so very cool mech. I have this one slated for my Draconis combine force. So I'm, I'm going to melt it later. Katana. You will not I'm gonna melt it. Uh, cool Lance. Uh, or whatever battle level. Level two. Sorry, Tom. level two. It's a level two. Um, what's your favorite mech out of this? You can't say the crab because that's mine. Sorry. I mean, I don't know. I would say it's down to the Crockett or the Flashman, uh, from a design, from a pure design perspective. Which which is the mech you're most looking forward to playing? It's a tough one. What do you guys think? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Crockett. That's gonna be a fun mech. I'm gonna go with Crockett. Yeah. So yeah, painting wise the crab. I, I playing wise the crab. I just have to keep my love my love affair going. I mean the crab's an awesome mech. Yeah, I do I do also really like the guillotine from a gameplay perspective uh, and the Lancelot too. Um, you know I have all these mechs. I mean <clears throat> yeah, I think I, I'm excited for you to have a new Lancelot. Yeah, because, you know, I've been cycling out, as you know, all of the old stuff. So these guys are going to end up going to the graveyard. Well, you haven't even been playing. You haven't been playing, oh, right? These three are going to get painted in Draconis colors. This is also going to be a Draconis mech. I don't remember where I have these guys slated. All of a sudden, you're doing all this Draconis stuff? Well, I gotta re I'm got going to replace these. Okay, okay, that's fair. You know. So I, all, all of the old stuff I'm cycling out. Only 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 new plastics, Tom. What, where available. Where available. So, closing thoughts on this lance. Closing thoughts on this lance. I think... It's a keeper. It's a keeper. Um, again, you know, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was like 20 bucks for an Inner Sphere lance, 25 for a star, 30 bucks for this, roughly $5 a mech, right? Yeah. I, I don't know if that's going to be the, the final retail price, but that's a hell of a deal. Five bucks a mech. I can deal with that. That's a hell of a deal. Like, again, we talk about it all the time. You compare it to, you know, your your run-of-the-mill Space Marine tactical lance, right? It's not even, tactical, not lance, that. tactical squad. That's 50 bucks for 10 dudes, and they're this big, you know. Um, it hurts. It hurts. And then, you know, God forbid if you want to buy somebody with a plasma cannon. <laughs> or a, yeah, or you a chaplain, chaplain or whatever. The chaplain. He's $50. Yeah, 35 I saw they just released uh, some, some new stuff. And it all looks the same to me now. I mean, it's just like, I think they're running out of things. They, they went through, like, redesigning well, they just, things they made so 10 bigger. quicker. Oh, well, God, don't even get me into that. I just put those cards away. I wanted to look at them. Cletus, t this guy's name is Cletus Dumas. <laughs> Dumas. 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 Cletus Dumas. You gotta um, say it right. You don't pronounce it. Isme Suabteri. Suabteri. It's, right. it's a Cajun name. Stuart. Bar bar, bay bars, bay bars, okay. Malik bay bar, Rashan Thacker, Thakur, Malik Buna. Is this where we're doing the Key and Peel um, football <laughs> sketch? <laughs> Roger Bernsebacher. 
uh, Uthman, Ubiad. Man, these cool are some. That's yeah. Cool Kwame. Name. Yeah, that's a cool name. Harry Frazier. You get behind that. Colin Bargiel. Bagel? Is it Bagel or Bargiel? Everything Bagel. Colin Bagel. Herman Schitz. <laughs> Styles, I think. Gabriel Carcass. Carcass. Ooh, Carcass is good. Yeah, Carcass. good stuff. She drives Maybe it's Carcass. Carcass, yeah, probably. And Gabriel, is that a... Gabriel. Oh, Gabriel. Okay, yeah, I thought it was Gabriel. I was like, no. that's a guy's name. No, it's, it's not a guy, Tom. Gabriel. At least I don't think it is. Are those real people? Don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know if they're backers. Are they or, like named whatever? Yeah, or just or they just came up with the name. I said, so unclear. If they're actually your name, I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. <laughs> I definitely mispronounced it. So I'm definitely I tried, sorry. I tried to get it. Right. Uh, so definitely buy this lance. Definitely subscribe. Definitely leave a comment. Definitely, if you're interested, head on over to Patreon. Uh, One dollar, five dollar, ten dollar. Uh, the higher the tier, the better the prizes. Send my Irby to sports camp. Is that what we're doing? Send your Irby to Sports Camp Drive. Yeah. Head on over to Aries Games and Minis. Yeah. I think that's all I got. Appreciate the support. Everyone. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, we got we got one more lance. The Fire Lance. Inner Sphere Fire Lance. Mm. It's going to be exciting. And we're also going to show off the new Shalom fighter in that one as well, Tom. Shouldn't talk about that. Is that a surprise? That's supposed to be a surprise? I guess I'm not. bad at keeping secrets. Okay, see you next time. All right, guys, stick around. Uh, keep an eye out for the next video, and of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death From Above Wargaming. Have a good night.